jump process starts with the airborne timeline, it's what we call it. It really begins from planning, and then once we get to the day of the jump, you'll have air to mission briefs. That's where all the jump master teams get together. Um, and then you have jump master rehearsals. You go to IMC, sustained airborne training. You'll go into FMC, final manifest call, into going to the shacks to rig up, get JMPI'd. Then you'll wait for maybe an hour, get on the bird. Today we are gonna be jumping um, at 1,000 feet from a C-130. We're gonna be laying on Valziani drop zone in a show of force for Distinguished Visitors Day. So they're gonna call your group up. You're gonna walk up to the plane. It's gonna be very loud. You're gonna walk in the plane. You're gonna sit down. They're gonna give you five series of commands. And uh, they're gonna tell you to stand up, uh, hook up, and then they're gonna give you 10 minutes, five minutes, 30 seconds, and green light go. So the main command is green light go, which means you're just gonna walk, you're gonna turn, and you're just gonna hop out of the plane. But it's kind of like a sucking feeling, like you're just gonna get sucked out and you're kind of discombobulated for a bit. And then your parachute, you, you see your parachute, you check for your parachute, any malfunctions. And it's like a cool, relaxing feeling for the first four or five seconds. And then you're gonna, your parachute catches. And then it's really calm. Like you're just gonna look down, you're gonna see, uh, the, and you're gonna see a lot of stuff cause you're high up, you know? And then um, when you get closer to the ground, you're gonna, you're gonna prepare to land. And so that's one of the easier parts. You're prepared to land, pack up your parachute, and then that's your day right there.